What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another video. If you missed the last video, I would highly recommend you go check that one out. Otherwise, you might be a little lost. But to recap really quickly, we are in Texas. We are down here early, super early for LST, Lone Star Throwdown. Uh, that event is next weekend. That's the whole reason why we have Green Bean on the trailer. Our latest giveaway truck. Ah, shameless plug. We're just going to get right to it. Guys, you have a chance to win that truck plus 10 grand just by going to wrenchworks.com. It's our latest giveaway truck. Support your boys. Support to channel right now this bad boy at the end of february is going home to one of you guys one of the sickest trucks that we have ever built i'm so excited make sure you guys go to wrenchworks.com grab a t-shirt a hat it doesn't matter it all gets you entered to win that truck but we're down here in texas at my buddy zach's powder coating shop because we are essentially getting ready early for lst uh the green bean is going to be in the jtx booth come out see us it's going to hang out hang out it's gonna be a great time uh but we got the short uh, we got the shorty down here just because we want to act a fool and have a good time and we've got our extended cab first gen frame on here so we have a lot of work to do on everything that we brought down um, so we're just down here hanging out having a good time we're getting ready to unload the trailer we made the trek home trek home i'll say <laughs> our second home might as well be uh but down to texas last night so it is real windy i apologize if you guys hear any wind noise i'm trying to block it the best i can but we've got the shorty project we just got done putting this thing together and we need to get some power powder coating color on this all black truck. So we're gonna go ahead and actually, uh, it's kind of funny, we're actually gonna take the shorty all back apart to powder coat a whole bunch of stuff. Green Bean is down here basically just to be in the show. And then we've got our extended cab first gen frame which is in dire need of some cosmetic powder coating painting help. So we're gonna go ahead and unload that as well. unloaded I totally forgot that we needed a jump box and to charge the battery for the front winch so the winch is not working that's what and just roll her off it's all good so uh, what we're gonna start on first here is our first gen frame so if you guys remember our extended cap first gen project uh, that got painted uh, the frame uh, when we got the chassis done at Charlie is looking a little rough all the suspension pieces looking a little rough so uh, we're gonna actually disassemble the chassis down to the bare frame and we're gonna blast that and get that thing looking good because we can't put the body on this beautiful chassis without making the chassis just as nice as the body so it's kind of where we're at we got our man Brian gonna be giving us a hand so me and Brian are going to get this get this thing down to the bare frame and sandblast the frame first we'll get rolling on that and then we can start working on the shorty after that, but. Oh yeah, just get her, get her right in there, buddy. Get it. Nope. She might be a little, she might be a little short, just like you, buddy. <laughs> it's unfortunate circumstances. Wasn't talking about your height, but I mean, any, wow. Sorry, my, my bad. Wow. My, my bad, I had to just go right there. Hey, let me give you, let me give you, let me give you a hand. Exposed. Wow. <laughs> You want to tell the people why you really come here to get free brown service? Oh wow! Ow! 
all my fingers. Don't need it. I know a little manual here. Oh, shut up. Someone's got to teach you. Shut up. I thought I hoped this thing turned back on. Probably just needs like a little lift right now just to get a little bit of weight off it. Yeah. All right. That'll work. Start loosening everything up. All right. I'm going to set you guys up on some time lapse mode. We'll go ahead and get this thing disassembled. Woo! Look at the Peterbilt though, looking like a whole snack. Goodness gracious. Here we go. We got the tripod. Just about finished up with the first gen frame teardown. Uh, we do need to go grab some different bigger Allen sockets than what we have here for these bad Larry's on the uh, cross member here and for the steering brace up there. So we're gonna run out right now. It's about lunchtime. Uh, one thing I will say about these videos down here in Texas is they're not gonna be in any specific order. We're just gonna take it day by day by day. So we're gonna go grab some lunch. We're gonna go grab some tools. We're gonna go over to Zach's place and probably check out his first gen shorty project that he's been working on. So there's gonna be a lot of randomness, right, Brian? It was that sink, sink, in a, sink in a towel. Oh, these, towel. oh yeah, towel in a sink, sink in a towel. Extra wetness. Yeah, wow, yep, there it is, yep. So we're just gonna roll with the days as they come, and you guys are just gonna see the daily progression in the way that it randomly is gonna take place. So anyway, first gen frame, knock it out. Brian, you, you know, you're, you're like my number one man right here. Don't let, don't let Zach hear you say that, or hear me say that, but, yeah. I mean, you're not gonna be my Valentine's Day date or anything, but. I mean, we are gonna go eat together. We are, we are, we are gonna do that. So we're gonna go grab some food. Um, we'll go grab the tools, check out Zach's truck. But there we are. We'll get this thing knocked out right after we get back. Right. Happy Valentine's Day, boyfriend. Hi, hi, hi. We got dinner plans tonight. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, brother? Yeah. Hi, Cap. Hey, buddy. Hey, you miss being a trucker yet? Oh, big time. I brought my 379 so you could sit in it and just, Where? uh, it's over at the shop. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. Look, at this, look, at, look at his face. Yeah. His face just went, oh my God. He's going to start to make car truck noises. Hey, man, that's a nice shirt you got on there. Uh oh. oh Buffalo oh. Wild Wings? Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. He does. <laughs> Cool like Greg. Uh, <laughs> oh, this thing is sick. This looks familiar. Looks just like yours, just different. Just gray. Just need some bigger turbos over here. Yeah, we're gonna take care of that later this week, right? Yup, yup. Oh Little yeah. Fresh window tint on it. Oh yeah, you did tint the windows. Would you? Would... Thirty-five all the way around. Yeah, it looks clean. That looks. That looks. Uh, that looks very classic, classy. Yeah, nothing crazy. <laughs> Powder coated first gen frames. <laughs> uh, You'll never see it, but it's powder coated. Dawson told me I had to start filming everything, so we just have to get used to camera in Greg's hand now. Yeah, I'm used to it. Oh man, this so thing's we had, sweet. Here's that plenum we had to make. So this is the one you sent me. But with the big lines, these little bends right here. Oh. They ran the so Jesse. Gotcha. Because these are shad lines? Yeah. Jesse machine. This one to move everything back. That's cool. I like how everything's just colored, matched to the body color. Looks really clean and classy. I like the steelies. The steelies look sick. Hopefully the spindles get here today and we'll drop this thing. So this is going to LST too? Yes, this is going to the QA1 booth. 
You know, nothing like some last minute projects. You know what I mean? We got like a week. Yeah, it's, it's no, it's no big day. deal. Oh, I forgot about that. You swapped everything to black, or well, made it all black. That's nice. Black dash in a can. Mmm, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. What'd you do? Did you just dye those? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Just I like that. Just and dyed it. And then, are the door panels black too? Yeah, the door panels are black. I'm waiting for them to redo the armrest at the bolster shop. Ooh, look at you with the speakers and everything. Wow. Fancy. This is fancy. This is putting my first gen, my, my, my first gen is just a burnout truck. Yeah, yours is a burnout truck. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is nice. This is a nice truck. Full exhaust. Look at that. That's how you, that's, that's how, that is how you know you care and you want to drive something if you have a full exhaust out the back. Yeah. Easy way, easy way would just be popping holes in hoods. Because I'm getting old. Ooh, I like the painted, I like the painted inner fenders. That's powder coated. Oh, it's powder coated? Yeah. Wow, those are cool. That's nice. Wow, this thing's really nice. I mean, basically it's full frame. Basically. Frame off, I mean, yeah. obviously. Whole bottom of the truck's painted. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Lacey, yeah. you gotta give Lacey credit. Lacey did a good job. Lacey did a good job. This is the truck that Lacey bought you. It is. Frames box. <coughs> oh, box. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. You, you, take take it away anytime, Ethan. <laughs> I'm just standing in the background. <laughs> I forgot. I liked how, because you guys inset it off the frame. I Because most people just like... Slap it up there. Right on the surface. It's easier to weld that way. Wow. And a muffler. Yeah, and a muffler. And a muffler, golly. That's how you know you're really getting old. Yeah, I haven't quite a fuel neck. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like he knows the you, 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 went, you went to go grab that pipe there pretty quick, though. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> real, real natural. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's going in the QA1 booth. Yeah, look at that, Because it's got QA1 coilovers all the way around. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Nine inch. Nine inch in the back, right? Is that what that is? Nine inch, 40 spline axles. Uh, harness here just goes through. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that running through there. That's nice. A little, a little hidden action. Oh, yeah. We didn't know we're have some shorty on shorty crime this weekend. We are. <laughs> I can't run mine real hard yet unless my cow tracks come in because it'll fold those leaf springs in half. Yeah, I would say it probably will. Air, con air conditioning? Yeah. That's how you know you care. You're trying to take over Lacey Shop. This is actually Lacey Shop. I'm trying to get her to give this thing away. So Goodness go gracious, I just keep forgetting how big this thing is until you get in here. Like yeah, monster nice. truck people over here. Goodness gracious. Powder coating the wheels on the Jeep for the dealership that got it. Freaking low rider project. It's gonna have a blower. Lacey's, Lacey's. Waiting on a motor from Texas Speed for this guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I saw the smart car over there. What do you think about the color? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty perfect for what it's gonna be. So my Holly Dominator and everything will be here for this. It's a Hayabusa engine. Supercharged. Supercharged Hayabusa engine for the smart car project. Shouldn't wow. Four hundred fifty to the tire. Hello. How are you? What's up? I'm looking at my nest. In here, what's up? Hi, how are you? I had to tell people I was like, you know what? I did not come. Not, I'm not coming just to see my boyfriend. Okay, I'm coming to see you too. Okay, that's right. This is, you know. We got the frame pretty much stripped all the way down, minus the cross members that are riveted in here. We are not gonna be taking the frame down to basically frame rails. Uh, the way these things are constructed with like rivets, we're not gonna drill those out. Those are gonna stay. Anything that is bolted to the frame has come off of it and we are going to blast and then have the frame powder coated. And I, slippery slope when you have amazing friends like Zach and all the guys here, uh, Brian for helping me uh we're just gonna go ahead and i guess we're powder coating axles now because what's the point so now like this is 
This is honestly, I think, the biggest, most detailed build that I will probably undertake. Uh, I have never done a 100% completely frame off, powder coated frame, powder coated axles build, uh, but we're here. And if we're here, then we might as well do it. Uh, we've got Zach, he's down, and you know what? Here, here, here we go. We have a, uh, we have a bare frame, and <laughs> we have to go ahead and tear all the axles down, get everything completely removed, basically down to bare axle housings. Uh, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. So that's where we're at. Brian went to go grab the skid steer so we can blast the frame in the back over there, and I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to disassemble Basically, Ed, disassemble every single little nut and bolt on this thing now. Um, so yeah, we've got we've got a lot of work to do and I still need to take apart the shorty. Uh, so we're just gonna keep working. Again, this is just gonna be like a daily, it's gonna be like a daily vlog pretty much. So you'll see everything that we get done before my head hits the pillow. Uh, if it does, you know, sometimes sometimes we just don't sleep while we're here either. So there, that that's a thing as well. Look at Brian's Smurf mobile over here. Look at that thing. Oof. I can hear him coming with the skid steer. Wow, look at that unit. That's a certified frame moving unit. Oh yeah, look at that. That, my friends, is a bare extended cab first gen frame. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got. I got a hand on the situation. Literally, I got a hand. Oh, we lost a wrench. <laughs> hey man, is your wrench works? It works. <laughs> hey man, that's a that's a that's a frame. That's a frame. That's a frame, buddy. Only frame off the Oh shit. Friends don't let friends do boring normal shit. Got the big Bubba's. <clears throat> big Bubba's trailer coming in clutch to go take this frame. All right, so we're moving this trailer out because we're gonna go ahead and put the first gen frame on this one because dragging the Peterbilt and the step deck uh, an hour or so away just for the frame seems uh, pretty, 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 pretty oversized for uh, for what we need it. So we've got this uh, smaller little gooseneck trailer that we're gonna uh, use the dually to move the first gen frame because the first gen frame is blasted. There you have it, one blasted first gen frame. friends here is what's left of our first gen rolling chassis we've got a set of leaf springs we've got a rear axle we've got our front axle we have got a pallet full of suspension parts wheels and tires and a pallet full of parts that are already broken down and ready to sandblast there in the back which we will be getting to tomorrow so a solid first day down here in texas getting the first gen kind of first gen rehab rolling again let's put it that way we've got our frame wrapped up on our little loaner trailer we'll be taking a trip with 
with that tomorrow. Again, guys, we're gonna keep rolling with these daily vlog videos of just getting work done while we're down here on a consistent daily basis. There's so much going on. We've got a lot of stuff planned, so make sure you guys stay tuned for the upcoming videos. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go to Rentrix.com, get entered for Green Bean, our latest giveaway truck. You're not gonna wanna miss out. Time is coming to a close at the end of February, so make sure you guys go get entered. We will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. We're keeping energy high, even though I definitely need to catch up on a little bit of sleep. So anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.